Howdy YouTubers, just wanted to speak to you about uh, Easy Motion BH batteries today. Um, I bought an Easy Motion e bike a uh, couple of months back, absolutely love it. Great machine, lovely build quality. So enjoy the extra speed. But um, the bike shop uh, asked me to have a look, the local bike shop asked me to have a look at uh, a couple of trade in um, batteries they had from old bikes uh, a couple of years back. These are the ones off the Evo curved ones, and uh, this is actually a brand new. 48 volt battery that uh, got put in the wrong bike and shorted out. So I've been taking a look uh, inside and uh, having a look at the construction and um, thought I'd just share some of the findings with you guys and uh, obviously being a community if you guys have any discoveries yourself I'd be happy to hear from you. So the build quality of these is really good uh, especially the newer ones but they all have a proprietary uh, battery management system BMS and I can't find much information at all about uh, how this actually works and how to go about repairing it, let alone finding spares. So the battery packs themselves are, are Samsung uh, 18650s and uh, as I said, build quality is really good. The older ones are really difficult to take apart. Um, they used the double-sided tape and uh, it really made it tricky. A little bit of heat I think helps uh, remove some of the double-sided tape on the inside. Um, and these guys I've been measuring all the individual cell packs. The main uh, problem with these is uh, just trying to get them all balanced. Obviously balancing uh, lithium-ion uh, batteries is always a bit of a science and uh, not knowing how the BMS system works uh, puts you at a bit of a disadvantage. Anyway, um, there are various different methods of doing things. I've also been using my old faithful Turnergy uh, balance charger uh, across the packs, but these packs being in parallel, five uh, batteries um, or six batteries in, in a pack, mean that uh, there are a lot of amp hours here and the discharge wires are very small so it takes forever. So I've actually just been using light bulbs to balance the packs um, to within a couple of hundred millivolts of each other and then using the balancing charger because mine only balances six packs and these are made out of ten, I've split the pack into two and down half and half. So about halfway through that uh, with varying levels of success. Just a couple of uh, tips, uh, be very careful with the actual socket on the bottom of the battery. Um, the 48 volts have a center pin so that you can't fit them to a 36 volt bike. Uh, there's no reason technically why you can't use a 48 volt battery on a 36 volt bike. I think the regulators, uh, motor controllers will handle it. And I've got an experiment as this one is blown where I'm going to bypass the BMS completely and wire it directly into the socket uh, and try it out on my bike. Um, charging, bit of an issue. Uh, some of the YouTubers have really advised me on how I can split the pack up uh, and charge it in two, two stages using uh, tools like the Trilogy Balance Charger. But um, a big learning curve and uh, it'll be uh, interesting once I've got to the bottom of how this all works. So look out for some future videos. If you like this, hit the like button. and. Uh, we will see whether we can get some community information exchange backwards and forwards. One other tool that I have access to is um, BH actually supply a very nice diagnostic kit for their resellers or dealers that plugs into the battery. The, funny enough, the interface on the battery uh, is actually only for the diagnostic kit. In other words, the bike itself only has a positive or negative. All of the BMS information can only be accessed through a special cable and a very special uh, USB UART device that's actually manufactured by a company called Hitec. Hitec, I believe, are the battery partners with BH, and uh, they produce a, a very uh, detailed uh, diagnostic um, data from the BMS system itself that shows you the exact balance of each set of the 10 packs that make up the 36 and 48 volts battery packs. Um, these uh, diagnostics are, as I said, somewhat proprietary. I'll send you, uh, I'll put up a screenshot of what they look like. But um, I've only been able to get the diagnostics to work in about half of the batteries. I'm looking after about five or six battery packs at the moment. So I'll keep you posted on my success. This is the BMS on the 48 volts. Very nicely packaged. These are the small uh, battery monitoring balancing wires. Not sure they actually balance. Uh, that's the flat pack, and here's the 36 volt Evo battery pack 
earlier generation, uh, not quite as well packaged and engineered, but uh, again, proprietary uh, BMS. Watch out for these connector plugs, they have a habit of uh, coming undone on the connectors. Hot tip for the day.